What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Another day in the life right at you. So I just want to give you a sneak peek throughout my day. I have a pretty action packed day today. I'm basically going to start uh, with working out this morning and then we have a couple of editing sessions to do. And then we're going to be shooting one of my cool clients, Eric, down in Seattle. And then we'll see where the day takes us. All right guys, so usually when I start my day, I'll start with uh, drinking some water, uh, brushing my teeth and then praying. Uh, just just to show God how grateful I am to see another day and to have my life and strength and to, to bless this day and to also continue to provide the, the tools that I need to, to be a good man and be a better person than I was yesterday. From there, I create my morning concoction of water, some apple cider vinegar, and also we have some pink Himalayan salt. And... I forgot who heard about this from, but basically they were saying that, you know, this concoction is just really good at rehydrating the body as well as the acetic acid from the apple cider vinegar helps with weight loss. And then the lemon is just good at cleansing as well. So usually I knock this down every single morning. woke up around 5 this morning. It's currently 5.45. Usually I like to wake my body up a little bit to get the, shake the cobwebs out before heading to the gym. And so, uh, you know, I prepare everything, including my pre-workout. So typically this is what I take for my pre-workout. I kind of stack these options. I am team Kino Body all the way. Greg O'Gallagher, if you're watching this video, love your stuff, my man. Pre-workout is by far the best I've ever taken in my entire life. I've been taking this for about four or five years now. Because you're really Really calm, cool energy, and there's no crash in the middle of the day. So this is a pretty good product. With that, I also take the Kino Aminos. As you can see here, I stack that with the pre-workout. And uh, this is just really good and just providing a little bit more, uh, it just helps with protein synthesis as well as prevents uh, muscle breakdown. For me, I usually don't like taking my caffeine until about an hour, 15 minutes to an hour and a half to the day. So for example, I woke up at five today, so I usually won't take my pre-workout until like 6.30. So usually from the time I get to the gym, I do cardio up until that point of being able to take my caffeine consumption. And then from there, the fireworks start, baby. Done with cardio, pre workout is flowing, and you know, for mm, around 6, oh wait, 6 a.m., dude, the place is packed. Dude. It's like uh, people are starting their New Year's resolutions a little early. Today is leg day, that is kind of have a love and hate relationship with leg day because it's like I love the feeling of doing it like during it, but leading up to it and then directly after, I don't like it so much. Oh, God. All right, so I am here in Seattle shooting my client, Eric. He's an amazing real estate agent and Airbnb expert. So make sure you follow him. I'll put 
some of his info right here as well as down in the description. So this is my only shoot for today and usually uh, with my clients we meet one to two times a month provide a 10 to 20 short form videos for them to post on their social media. If you've been following me for quite some time you know that I own my own creative agency. We focus on creating online video content as well as providing social media uh, management services for any business minded content creator. So if you're interested I'll be sure to leave more information down in the description. But other than that let's get shooting baby. Oh, what's up, dude? Hey. This is for the day in the life. Say hi. <laughs> what's up? <laughs> been a while. How you been? Pretty good. Staying busy. Yeah. Always busy, right? Yeah. I mean, like, that's what I've been doing with Andrew, too. It's been doing well. Like, he's been focusing just doing, like, 20, 30-second ones. And those have been doing pretty well. And what if they're, like, 10-second ones? Dude, that's, <laughs> that's probably even better, to be honest. I mean, we can always test it out, see what happens. Okay, you know, he's just like, yeah. so it's, it's, uh... I'm just gonna crank through a bunch of these questions. Honestly, I might just like... Oh yeah, this is random, but like, in your opinion, what's, what do you feel is the best? I would probably look at birds deals so oh, what type of, you know how sometimes they've got those like people that are just sitting there and they're just kind of like pointing no money all right and can you start an airbnb with a security deposit plus all the furnishings that'll probably be somewhere between 15 like a call to action for uh, your coaching program for airbnb or do you want to test it out not yet okay gotcha sure 10 i would yeah i would even say it maybe yeah i was thinking like the 12 14 mark which is good because i mean the more the better so yeah as long as you feel good i feel good i'm a little under the weather so you should keep a little distance from me oh you're good bro don't get you sick all right no worries what is the 70 percent rule in house flipping all right y'all we just got done shooting eric and as oh there's like children screaming you know eric has just he's he's actually like one of my first clients i've ever had and i have to say he's just like so easy to work with man like he's totally on board and with the mindset that you know social media the strategy is a long-term thing he understands that there's not going to be any probably not going to be any immediate impact right away even though he's already seen a, a plethora of results getting leads for his real estate company as well as as clients already for his Airbnb coaching program. But yeah, like I said, Eric has just been incredible to work with. Super cool dude. I used to be in the tech industry. He worked uh, for Facebook actually for a few years before just quitting and just going into real estate universe. And he's just been killing it. Just super blessed to be able to work with him and have him as a client. You know, one of the biggest lessons that I learned uh, so far with running this agency is that you know, follow up is everything. You know, a lot of the clients that I've gotten are just continuing to touch them. That didn't sound right. You know, just continue to, to communicate with them, just letting them know, you know, the value that, you know, myself and the agency provides and also at the same time, how it's gonna help them get more exposure on social media. A social media train is here. It's better to jump on right now because, you know, social media is the new TV commercial. You know, the videos that um, you could be pumping out daily, it's really gonna get you more eyeballs on your product or service. So, um, you know, there's no better time than now to jump on and start creating video content. <laughs> So we are back home. So what I like to do as soon as I'm done with the shoot, I like to offload all of my footage as soon as possible. Just in a rare case, something catastrophic happens like losing the footage or whatever. So I'm gonna hook it up to my computer and also at the same time going to get in the first of two editing sessions of the day. Uh, usually with my agency, uh, what I like to do um, as far as the processes go is that I usually do the rough cut of all the footage before sending it over to my editing team who add all the fancy semancy, you know, subtitles, and uh, graphics and, and all that jazz. So totally get it. You know, those who own an agency who's watching this video, you probably have a little bit more smoother processes, but I'm still kind of in the beginning stages. So I have to put in a little bit more work as far as the silver silver goes.
Oh, all right, so taking a little mental break from editing. Editing success went pretty good. Got some short form content done. Also sent over a few long form contents to my editing team. And so now it is in their hands. But as you can see, it is raining like crazy. I hate the rain so much, so, so much. Anyway, um, I'm committed to doing 10,000 steps a day. I don't have a treadmill at home. And so this is the next best thing. So I probably could go back to the gym, but it's kind of, sometimes you just want a change of scenery, you know? I usually try and do like 30 minutes. I don't know how long I'm gonna survive because of this rain, but uh, we'll see. Gosh, I hate the rain so much, but we got it in. So just uh, got done doing the final editing session and actually just got home from church, uh, but didn't want to bore you guys with the laborious work with editing, but pretty good day, successful day, got a lot done. I uh, got the shoot done, all edit sessions done, workout complete, everything. Thanks for coming along guys, really do appreciate it. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and like button. And let me know down below in the comments if you like more of these style of videos. I mean, I know usually I post a lot of like educational stuff about social media, about uh, being on camera and things like that. But yeah, feel free to let me know if you like more content. I'll be more than happy to do this type of day in the life. Until then, we'll see you next time. Keep crushing it.